This is Malaysia Airlines, but better. I wasn't even supposed to be on this flight, but I'm so happy that I am. Here's the long story short. I was on my way to Sri Lanka for work, but about 30 minutes after departure, there was smoke in the cabin and an emergency was declared. We returned to Melbourne and landed under full emergency landing protocols. I even made the news. I'll put the link to that video in the description below. It's an interesting look at what happens in an emergency. Anyway, I still needed to get to Sri Lanka, so they put us on a Malaysia Airlines flight the next day. Upon boarding, we found out we'd won the Malaysia Airlines lottery. And then, I won it again. There were no window seats available when we checked in, but when the doors closed, I spotted this free window seat. And that's how I found myself in the perfect spot to capture this incredible footage of the stunning new Qantas A220 in its special First Nations livery. But then a storm hit and we were stuck just short of the runway as the entire airport was closed. Eventually though, the storm passed, but they changed the runway, so we had to do a lap of the airport and eventually took to the sky. And I was finally on my way to Sri Lanka. So, how did I win the Malaysia Airlines lottery? Well, it turns out that this A350 is very special. On the outside, it's brightly painted in the Malaysian livery, but on the inside, it's still very much SAS or SAS, Scandinavian Airlines. It turns out that SAS hit a few financial hurdles and needed to offload some aircraft. Malaysia Airlines jumped at the chance. They gave it a quick paint job and now fly it as their own. Rather than installing the standard Malaysia Airlines business class seats, they've kept the SAS interior, which is much, much better. It does come with a couple of drawbacks though, which I'll cover later in the video. Eventually, Malaysia does plan to install its brand new, very fancy business class seats onto this aircraft, but first it needs to upgrade its fleet of A330s. So in the meantime, if you're lucky, you might find yourself on this A350 like I did. Now join me and we'll experience it together. Oh, and before I forget. Cheers. These are a great place. So what are these Scandi seats like and why do I like them? The cabin is laid out in a one one configuration so that all passengers have direct aisle access. Couples wanting to be close should go for the middle seats. My preference though are the seats set closer to the window as these are more private and they're closer to the window. These seats are just a really great design. That said, I have no idea why all the backing panels look like they have the measles. Maybe it's a Danish thing. The seats themselves are very comfortable to sit in and easy to control. A little later in the video, I'll tell you how you can find out which routes this aircraft is flying. All the electronics are right where you need them and there is plenty of storage space. The leg room on these seats are excellent. I'll show you the bed mode later in the flight. The tray table is strong and sturdy and can be used in full or half mode. Combined with the adjacent space and well placed sockets, these seats are made for working. I really like the overall feel of the cabin and seats. Both in daylight and evening mode, these seats look and feel good. Not long after takeoff, the crew brought out the bar. By now, it was definitely time for a drink and predictably, I indulged in a gin and tonic. Next, it was time for the very best part of any Malaysian Airlines business class flight. It was satay time. And yes, you can ask for seconds. After the satays, it was time for lunch. Here's a look at today's menu. The food really hit the spot, the fresh salad being the perfect starter after two serves of satay. The garlic and fig please. Lovely, thank you. For mains I had the chicken biryani which was full of flavour. Then a chocolate mousse to finish. The crew on this flight were really lovely and worked non-stop to ensure all passengers were looked after but then I can't remember ever having a bad Malaysia Airlines crew. One of the drawbacks of this SAS aircraft being relatively new to the Malaysian fleet is that there was no in-flight map or Wi-Fi available. I knew we were heading to Kuala Lumpur, but I had no idea exactly where we were. Here's a look at the actual route we took from Flight Radar 24. Overall flight time was 7 hours and 38 minutes. 
And now here's a look of some of the great views we had on the way. Other than the lack of a route map and Wi-Fi, the rest of the entertainment system was the standard Malaysia Airlines system. It's easy to use and had enough choices to keep you busy, including 97 movies, 118 TV shows and over 300 albums. But for those preferring analog entertainment, there's also an in-flight magazine. All business class passengers are provided a pair of slippers and an amenities kit, which comes in this stylish pouch. It's well stocked and somewhat environmentally aware. Let's do a very quick bathroom tour here at Malaysian Airlines A350 Business Class. We've got the Hollywood lights on the mirror, nice clean mirror by the look of it too, uh, functional sink, I forgot the flowers, Some lotions and potions here, hand lotion and eau de toilette, some sanitizer, cups but don't drink the water, tissues and hand towels, and a full length mirror. Look at that. And the handle to brace if you need. And a baby change table. And that's the loop review. As the flight progressed, it was time for a nap and to test out the seat in bed mode. Uh, time for a nap and uh, to try out this bed. As you can see, as the footage you've just seen, it uh, looks good. There's a little seat mattress cover. Uh, at the shoulders, it's a good amount of width. Obviously, I'm very broad shouldered. Uh, good amount of room at the feet as well, which is uh, which is good. It's flat. It's comfortable. It's a lot better than the uh, Malaysia Airlines A330 uh, beds. So these are a lot wider, and certainly the feet are a lot roomier. Now I'm going to pretend to go to sleep. For uh, the video, obviously, I will be having a nap in a minute, but uh, as I close my eyes here and pretend to uh, have a little nap, like this, obviously I'm not asleep because while I'm still holding the camera, the lights are still on and I'm still mic'd up, so, uh, and I always drop the camera, so uh, good night, I will now go to sleep. I slept for a couple of hours and then did some more work on my videos. I was still too full from the satays and lunch to have anything else to eat. As twilight hit, I set up my camera on the other side of the cabin in the hope of catching the sunset. This is the best I could do. I really don't understand why you wouldn't want a window seat. Then, after darkness had fallen, we flew over Singapore. Unfortunately, the cabin lights played havoc with the footage, but you get the idea. That's Singapore down there. Not long after passing Singapore, it was time to prepare for our arrival into Kuala Lumpur. So, how do you win the Malaysia Airlines lottery and end up on this aircraft? Well, it's not easy and it comes down to a lot of luck, because airlines can change aircraft allocated to a particular flight at short notice. The registration number of this particular aircraft is 9M MAH. If you put this registration number into Google on sites like Flight Radar 24 or Flight Aware, you'll see where it's been flying to. In recent months, it's been on the KL Melbourne run, but from the 1st of April, it's been doing the KL Doha route. For me, flying on it was pure luck because I wasn't even supposed to be on this flight, and that just confirms that good things can come when you least expect it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to KL International Airport Terminal 1. To our visitors, Selamat datang to Malaysia and to all Malaysians, welcome home. It's been our pleasure serving you. Thank you for flying Malaysia Airlines, a member of One World Alliance, and we hope you have enjoyed our Malaysian hospitality. That was a really, really good flight. Love that. Thank you, thank you so much. That was uh, really, really lovely. First time on the uh, MA350. Fantastic. Oh, Definitely hope to fly it again. Thank you. Bye bye. That was a lovely surprise. Whoops. Drop the bag. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know whether you've experienced the 350 with the Malaysia Airlines and, and what you thought. Uh, when you've done that, don't forget, please check out my channel and uh, have a look at all the other flight reviews and other stuff that I've got on there. There's a lot more on the way. Uh, lots of stuff happening this year. Thanks for watching and as always, happy travels.